Are you somebody? Are you Christian? Sorry? Are you Christian? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You wanna stand with us? Sure. Yeah, I got a few minutes. Okay. I, I actually had a uh, debate with one of the girls in there. Yeah. Said, Fuck yeah, abortion. Can I put you on the Facebook Live? Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Okay. Go, go, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so I, I had a dispute with um, a girl in there. Um, both of us were very respectful of each other, just okay, you know, trying to get some uh, understanding on why people think a certain way. Um, okay. You know, I'm personally a Christian. I uh, definitely don't believe in abortion unless it's absolutely medically, you know, necessary. Um, and still, that's kind of a iffy subject for me personally. Um, you know, they have comfort rooms. They just passed this thing in Colorado about a week ago. Mm -hmm. um, if a baby is aborted but survives the abortion, they can take the baby out and they just go put it in a room to die. It's called a comfort room. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, it, it personally disgusts me and my beliefs, um, but yeah. Well, that's actually that's not a is that you said that's a bill or a law that just that, that just passed. No, it, it has been passed. Okay, so it's a law now. It is a law. Well, we need we need a law, and we we actually do have laws in this country that um, because well, you reckon do you recognize that Roe v. Wade is not law? Yeah. Do you recognize that? Right. Okay. That's an opinion. So it's actually not legal to murder babies. It's sanctioned by the states, allowed by the states, but it's not actually legal to do so. And a lot of Christians don't recognize that because they think they've been taught, I was taught, the Roe v. Wade is a law of the land and we have to overturn it. No, we don't. What we need to do is we need to ignore Roe v. Wade and on this matter of murder, ignore the Supreme Court and say we're going to protect everybody in our state and our jurisdiction born and pre-born, no exceptions. That's what Colorado and every state should be doing right now. Because, right. I mean, right here in Colorado, they defied the federal, the state defied the federal government over smoking weed, right? right? So if they can defy the federal government to smoke weed, why can't Colorado or any state defy the federal government and protect pre-born children, right? True, I mean, yes, it can happen, but there's so many people here in Colorado that say it's okay. Oh, I know. I mean, I know it's a very so, liberal. So that, that's the challenge. It's not. I know. It's not actually getting the law passed through, you know, the federal government or anything like that. It's the people here that say it's okay. You know, like I said, I have this dispute with that girl inside. Um, I was just on my way home actually, and I walked past, and it said, uh, "We heart abortions." And it kind of made me sick. I stood there oh, and watched good. her talk for a little bit, yeah. and then I just walked over and I asked her. Um, first question I asked her, in what trimester is it okay to abort a baby in your personal opinion? And she kept avoiding my questions because she said that she, she didn't want, um, you know, this to get personal. I was like, no, but that, that's what I'm trying to understand is people like you and that have the same beliefs, you know, what is your personal opinion? Do you genuinely think it's okay to do that or mm -hmm. do you do so? I mean. They gave me an example of a medical situation. She was in um, she was in danger of dying if they didn't do something because the baby wasn't going to survive, and neither was the mother if they tried to go through with the um, the birth. So was that why she was doing that? What is that, that why she was? That that was her personal reason. Okay. Yes, but there. And then I said, okay, but that, that accounts for less than 2% of abortions. Less than 1%. That is less than 1%? Oh, yeah. Medical and uh, rape well, and incest? Were they, were they mur well, rape and incest, I believe, is less than 1%. Right, I think with both those combined, it's less than 2%. Oh, yeah. Of all abortions. I said, okay, so that is a tiny, tiny piece. Let, let's look at the big picture. 98% of women, they get abortions, do it because they don't want a baby. Yeah. I said, what about birth control? You know, they made the decision themselves knowing the risk of having sex mm -hmm. to to have sex you know a, a, getting pregnant is a risk of having sex and they made that decision on their own yeah. they put on their big boy pants and had some sex <laughs> um, and I was like all right so why not condoms you know why didn't you use a condom why'd you let him come inside you I mean there are I know there's a hundred different you know situations and different occasions for things to happen, but I mean, I personally don't believe in that you should be able to 
you know, I, I believe it's murder. You know, I, I say, if you abort your baby, I can go stick a needle in your arm and kill you. I'm like, what, what's to say I can't? Right? I mean, really, well, though. Like, it, I know that's a, that's a large, like, very big statement to make, but... Well, not if you actually treat the unborn, the pre-born as human beings. I mean, they, no, are, they, they have a beating heart detectable uh, as early as five to six weeks. Detectable. That doesn't mean it's not there, but that's at five to six weeks into a pregnancy before a woman even knows she's pregnant half the time. A lot of women don't even know they're pregnant. My girlfriend didn't even know she was pregnant until she was eight weeks pregnant. You know, so that heartbeat was detectable before she even knew that she was pregnant. So I mean, it, I did a lot of research on it because it disgusted me and I, I, I dug into it uh, myself. And uh, yeah, I just, a lot of the things just sickened me. Some of the pictures, um, this guy um, said that this doctor brought out a bucket, a bucket of aborted babies insanely. And, um, it's a pretty terrible way to die too. Yeah, they so drop them in a bucket. They're, they're, burned, they're basically burned, it, their skin's burned off of them. Yeah, so um, he took a picture of it. He put the baby's feet in between his feet and in between his fingers and took a picture of it to show the size of this baby when it was aborted. It was fully formed. Mm -hmm. It was fully formed. It looked like a baby, but it was just tiny. Yeah. And it had a heartbeat at the time that it was aborted. You know, just kid. A lot of people say it's uh, it's not a human. I, I even heard a guy say it's not even a human until it can have conscious thought. Well, <laughs> the problem with that, uh, one thing is, there are people in this world who, do, who are not conscious, but we don't murder. Well, I mean, we're getting to the point where we are. We do murder them, yeah. in euthanasia. But, but there are people in this world who aren't conscious. We don't go around murdering them. No, I know. And. But we do that for the pre-born. I mean, bitch. pretty much every, pretty much every reason that I've, I've I've been given for murdering babies in the womb, you apply that to the to, to someone outside the womb, and most people say no. will say no. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I watched uh, Ben Shapiro have this argument with a college student, um, and the college students, or he said, okay, for example, say this 40-year-old man gets in a car accident, and um, he is in a coma for, let's say, a very predictable amount of time, let, for, let's just say nine months, he's in this coma, and he's going to come out of this coma with memory loss. Is it okay for the family to pull the plug on that guy? And he was like, no, it's not. And then he was like, well, that's the same thing with the baby. We know that baby's going to be out in nine months, have some memory issues whatever, not have the same memory as like a fully formed adult would have, but mm -hmm. of course it is going to be a living human being in nine months outside of walking, not walking, but outside of the womb with, you know, sure, he said memory loss to kind of make it similar. Um, and the guy goes, no, it's not okay to murder the guy, but it is okay to murder the baby. And, and then he asked him about animals and he goes, no, it's not okay for us to kill animals. So then Ben Shapiro said, uh, okay, so let me get this clear. Happy the hamster, terribly wrong to kill. Baby, kill it. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of resonated with me. Like, that makes no sense. Like, I don't understand how somebody can even think that way. You, you know, know why? You know how they, they can think that way? Because they love their sin and they love the rebellion against God. Yeah. And we live, we, we live in a nation uh, we, we live in a nation where we literally worship animals and we murder babies. And I've, I've spoken about this uh, before because I actually love I love animals. You'd be hard. Oh, I, I, too, you'd be, I have a cat. I grew up <laughs> with four dogs in my household. I so I mean, honest. you'd be hard. You'd be hard pressed to find anyone on this campus who loves animals more than I do. Yeah. I, I've always had a great love of them. It's one of my favorite things in life is animals, mm -hmm. being around them. But they're not made in the image of God. And right. so I bring it up to people. It's like. I'm a, I'm I'm here, uh, a, per, a man who loves animals, and is actually working towards seeing what I can do to um, help animals who are being neglected by their owners. Because I've I've seen that and it grieved me terribly. And but at the same time, I'm 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 grieved like how can we love animals and help them 
in this country while we've slaughtered children in the womb. I mean, that's insanity. Yeah, we yeah, murder yeah, the image of God in the womb and animals who are not made in the image of God. Even outside of the womb. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, yeah. Failed abortions. Out, outside really the womb. Take them to a room that's called a comfort room. It is not comforting. I've, I've seen one personally. Yeah. Okay. Because I went to see, I went and spoke to a doctor and just to see like about when I heard about comfort rooms, I wanted to see it for myself. So I actually went to a hospital and asked to see hmm. a comfort room. Um, there was no babies or anything in it, but um, I walked in. It was not very comforting. It's a room with medical tables. They walk the failed aborted baby into this room and set it on the table until it dies because it can't breathe and do all these things on its own. You know, it's, it, some babies need help, especially a failed aborted baby. You know, it was just burned, and now they bring it out and just set it on the table until it just dies. Yeah, we've been doing that for years. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, well, I, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that until recently, just a couple months ago. So. I, I can give you something to present to um, those uh, on campus here who support murdering babies in the womb. I actually uh, presented this earlier. There, I could name three or four, maybe five abortionists, practicing abortionists right now, that have admitted that they, they're killing people. They've called the, um, the pre-born a, pers um, a human being, a person, a child. And... And um, like their writings and interviews on video and in the writings, and I just watched a, a, a short interview with Hillary Clinton recently, where she called the unborn a, a person. I think her, her, her the exact um, I don't know if I'm quoting her exactly, but basically she said the the unborn person has no constitutional rights, and you can you can see that for yourself on YouTube. And so I mean I like you can present that to those who are pro-abortion and be like, do you realize that your own people, the people who are practicing abortionists and people like Hillary Clinton affirm the humanity of the pre-born, but still say it's okay to murder them. And, yeah. and, um, I mean, I mean, Elizabeth Warren, um, brought up that, uh, Michael Bloomberg said, or I, I don't believe it was true. There's no like true evidence of this, but he told Michael Bloomberg told one of his employees, um, she was pregnant. She, Elizabeth Warren said that he said something like, kill it. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and kill it. Um, but it's funny because she brings that up and, um, you know, she is pro abortion herself. So, you know, she brings up these bad things about other people <laughs> and then she supports it herself, but she's just throwing shade to try to make that other person look bad. And it's, it's kind of funny in my eyes. Like, oh, it's, she it's, she it's supports ironic. the same thing that she's shitting on somebody for. So. That's what people do when they're inconsistent and, and they're living their lives contrary yeah. to God's law and they're in rebellion against God. And well, I, I, I do have to run. i got to run, finish a paper, and then go to class. But are, um, uh, Before you go, are, yeah. did you say you're a Christian? Yes, I am. You are? Yeah. Uh, so are you, are you going to... Um, because I know you said you, you, you have a child out of wedlock, right? Uh, it's not mine. It's not? It's not mine. Um, oh. But uh, we're both very Christian, and okay. you know, so you're not she, having she got sex. pregnant when she was 20 years old. And so you're not having sex outside of marriage? No. Okay, that's good. Yeah, no, I'm not. Okay, I was concerned there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's... I can't have another one running around. <laughs> well, what, so is she, is she, is she gonna, she's going to raise a child herself? Or uh, so far, she's done so, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you think you're going to marry her? Or? Um, it's looking that direction, honestly. Um, okay. Yeah, because you shouldn't be with her unless you're... For a year now. Okay. Um, I haven't really made any real um, decisions or anything like that. Um, you know, we're we're in different places of life right now, but mm -hmm. I'm working towards you know what I need to do to be able to support and do what I can do to be there for that both of them. You know. Well, it, I, I encourage you if if you're gonna stay with her, commit yourself to her. Yeah. And and marry her and. And raise lots of children. Yeah, because that, that's that's God's design. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of people in this in this country in this world who hate God. They're raised to hate God, mm -hmm. and we need to over kind of over, overcome that. And but um, keep keep looking to Jesus and stay stay in the Bible yeah. on a regular basis. And read, just discipline yourself to read it every day. I do. Oh, that's good. I do. Yeah. That's good. Right. Well, what what was your name? Keaton. Keaton. I'm, I'm Nicholas. Thank you. Yeah, good handshake. Thank you. Thanks for um, the conversation. Yeah, stay with, no, stay with me. Yeah, I, I appreciate this because nobody else will do it. So thank you. <laughs>
I know that's probably why I do it, because so few people will do it.